Hey there, thanks for joining us today. Um, my name's Andrew. I am part of the client growth team at Protocol Labs, and I will be giving a bit of an update today, a survey of the progress onboarding data onto the Filecoin network, uh, where we are, where the demand's coming from geographically, by industry, um, and the tools and services that are helping to drive that growth. Um, I will try to leave a few minutes at the end for some questions if you have any. So, so far, um, we've onboarded over 1.2 exabytes of data onto um, Filecoin. That is a 150% increase in January. And so a real testament to the massive scale the Filecoin network provides in preserving humanity's most important information. In terms of daily onboarding rate, we've reached over five PIBs per day um, for quite some time now, and making Filecoin the largest decentralized network in the world. So really incredible progress, all thanks to the tools and ecosystem partners who are bringing data onto the chain. Um, in terms of what, what clients, what type of clients are bringing um, that data onto the network, over 1,400 individual unique clients have onboarded data onto the network. That is an over 40% increase since January. And really, if you look at where that growth is coming from, that growth, growth is largely coming from clients with large data sets. Over 100 TIBs of data represent the largest growth, and that's up over 220% since January. And really a testament to the network um, that the ecosystem's built, that demand is truly global. And what you're looking at here is a map of data onboarded by location. Um, and so you can see here across multiple continents, North America, Europe, and Asia, um, and Australia being the, the strongest continents, data stored across over 3,200 different storage providers and in 44 countries. So again, a testament to the power of the decentralized open nature of the network, the breadth and scale of the various offers from the storage providers as part of the network, and the opportunity for really um, storing data on the network. Um, here I would talk about a few of the featured clients. We've really had some exciting use cases and I'll go into detail on a few more shortly. But Internet Archive is an example, backing up their archival data for long-term persistent storage to preserve the history of the Internet. Um, the SETI Institute, uh, data that came off the satellite, recently landed, they made available through Filecoin and IPFS to their researchers to start analyzing the signals from space in their search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Um, CERN's atomic collider data, right? Large quantities of, of data, very difficult to reproduce, expensive to reproduce, that need to be preserved for decades into the future is now on Filecoin. So you can see use cases here across you know, research, life sciences, Web3 with, with OpenSea storing NFT data, uh, really powering growth. And so if you look at it a bit from the top down, um, the industry is driving that growth. It's not just Web3, right? We have healthcare, environment, and IT are among the largest groups of um, clients by industry onboarding data. All of this data you can find um, publicly available on filecoin-explorer.com. It's an incredible resource for understanding the data onboarded, the clients onboarding, featured case studies. Has You can actually look at per client data, the amount of data they, they've each onboarded. So I encourage you to, um, to go check it out. I'll talk about a few of uh, the, the most exciting and important case studies we've had. Uh, dark matter research at UC Berkeley. Um, their, produ their experiments produce massive data sets which are becoming cost prohibitive to store on their centralized or cloud systems. And so they leverage the open marketplace that is um, the Filecoin storage provider network um, to find a cost effective solution for storing that data for years to come. Over 400 terabytes of neutrino, neutrino detector data has been onboarded and counting to meet the demands of this data intensive uh, next generation experiments. Okay. 
the Victor Chain Cardiac Research Institute in Australia is another great example. Um, their, their research on their ever larger data sets um, and existing storage solutions didn't provide a high degree of data integrity. In you know, long-term um, deep data analysis, preserving the integrity of data for reproducibility of experiments and analyses is, an important, to is important to making scientific progress. Um, Filecoin is really the only network out there that provides strong cryptographic guarantees of data integrity through its content uh, identifiers, which is incredibly important to that research and analysis. Um, 125 terabytes of their cellular imaging and raw research data have now been onboarded onto the Filecoin network, and that was in collaboration with DSS, an Australia-based storage provider onboarding that data. Solana, another great example, um, and, and very much a good fit with the decentralized mission of Filecoin. Uh, Solana's blockchain state was only stored on centralized solutions for um, you know new nodes coming onto the network to recreate the change state chain chain state, creating a single point of failure and at odds with the company's philosophy. And so F Filecoin provides an additional Web3 native backup for Solana's blockchain state data. And so to date, over 500 terabytes of blockchain state data has been backed up to Filecoin and new epics are being added to the database, uh, allowing the community to query and download that chain state and contribute to the Solana blockchain. So why are, why are clients choosing Filecoin? Let's dig into a little bit of what we've learned, the feedback we've gotten from the clients we've onboarded. You know, number one is lowering storage costs. Uh, Filecoin is 90% less expensive than traditional cloud providers. That, that, that cost efficiency leads to greater accessibility and the opportunity for greater innovation as you can open up the doors to um, more, more distributed and, and federated access and research. Number two is improving data dur durability. The multi-entity, right, multi-cloud replication of Filecoin at the scale that it offers is really a unique benefit, um, offering flexibility on the level of resiliency and retrievability based on the client's use case. Um, verifying data integrity, and this is a really important one, especially as we see the increasing prevalence of um, AI applications, which are so much based on the integrity of the underlying model training data, um, the, the content addressability that Filecoin brings, and the proof of replication uh, integrity guarantees really becomes an essential part of the data sl uh, supply chain for a new economy. You know, meeting regulatory requirements. I think part of the open nature of um, Filecoin is it provides both geographically distributed solutions that can be ring-fenced, but also hybrid localized deployments as well, really giving you control over where your data sits um, so that you can comply with um, sovereign and regulatory requirements. And the last one is really understanding the carbon footprint. And Filecoin pr provides transparent tracking of ener energy consumption. Um, so as our data demands grow, as our data analyses demands grow, we can um, do that in a, in a green um, way and, and understand the, the footprint we're leaving behind. Um, and so again, you know, wh again, why why are clients choosing choosing Filecoin? What are the value propositions that are really resonating with data owners? You know, number one is 40% of organizations that we surveyed had experienced high or unexpected egress costs. Right, data is only is only valuable uh, if if it's accessible. And with the, the breadth of the Filecoin storage provider marketplace, the range of services and commercial offers that they bring to market, uh, it allows data owners to find um, solutions providers that can store their data with no or little egress costs. 53% um, of organizations were unable to use the public cloud as storage due to regulatory compliance. So again, the, the hybrid capability to deploy an on-premises um, node yourself using open source tooling, but also replicate into the cloud, choose your geolocations, and ring fence your data securely is a key advantage of, of Filecoin. 
And the last one is 83% of organizations view geographic control as critical to meeting regulatory requirements. If you look back across 44 countries, 3,200 uh, storage provider nodes really provides uh, a global scale and the, um, the control that data owners need to have the confidence in the sovereignty and compliance and geographic ring fencing of their data. Um, and so uh, here, kind of wrapping up, you know, it, this has all been enabled by a powerful set of tools and onboarding solutions. There's an incredible ecosystem out there. Um, I encourage you to go explore it. S code is available on GitHub. Um, teams are available on Slack. If you haven't dove in yet and really engaged with the community, I encourage you to. Um, I wanted to highlight a few of the more recent projects here that are really driving much of the growth of data onto the network. Um, you know, number one is singularity, and it's really facilitating petabyte scale data ingestion for storage clients and providers. It provides a modular package, data preparation, flexible deal making, data indexing and retrievals, all in one open source, easy to use tool. Another one is Delta. If you were here for the last talk, you probably learned a bit about this. Um, part of Filecoin Data Tools includes a deal-making engine and the Delta Dataset Manager, and so yet another path for, for getting data onto the network. Um, Spade there um, is a Filecoin network storage proposal management solution. And so in that deal-making flow on Filecoin, there are multiple models, a push model, a pull model, and Spade really opens up new opportunities for customizing that deal-making flow. Um, whether you have a predefined prescriptive set of, of storage providers you want to work with as a data owner, or whether you want to open up your deals to anyone who might come in, uh, Spade provides both deal-making models. And then lastly, again, part of Filecoin Data Tools, Edge UR, which is a gateway for hot storage and retrievals using IPFS. So where Filecoin provides a deep archive solution, um, putting Edge UR in front of it, leveraging IPFS, enables hot storage and retrievals as well. Um, so I encourage you, if you haven't already, jump into GitHub, uh, join the Slack. There are a million wonderful conversations going on. Um, if you want to talk with someone directly, there are a couple QR codes up here. You know, one, if you're a data owner or a service provider or developer looking to leverage the Filecoin network for data storage and your application development, that's the QR code on the left. Um, and it'll take you to a, a form to fill out and we'll be sure to get back to you. If you're interested in becoming a storage provider, providing storage capacity, um, hot and cold retrievals on the network, uh, that's the QR code on the right. And we've got a, uh, a great team there to assist you with any questions you might have on what it might take to, um, to become a storage provider on the network. So thank you very much. That's my overview today. I guess I'll, I'll open it up for a few minutes if anyone has any questions. Otherwise, we'll... Uh, pass it on to the next speaker. All right, well, thank you again. Have a good one.